Hola. ¿Cuál es la tarea para hoy? Hola, hola. Hola, hola, Martín. ¿Cómo estamos? Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cuál era la tarea? Pues era acerca de, lo, de los vecinos que teníamos, me parece. Y los problemas que tal vez hubieron y que, que podíamos hacer al respecto. Creo que así era la tarea. ¿Qué hemos hecho? ¿O qué hacemos con el problema? Ajá. Sí, correcto. Ah, va. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Uh -huh. Miren. Este, otra pregunta antes que venga la ticha. Este, del, del, el nuevo, el, el, el examen final ya lo están resolviendo. ¿Cuál? El examen final. Ah, el examen final. Sí. Ya. Parte, sí. Yo tengo, yo este... tengo parte, tengo unas ahí que no las puedo contestar. Dos de ellas, parece. Mm. Tal vez. A mí solo me falta la... Claro que sí. Uh, solo me falta la parte, quiero ver, en la penúltima evaluación, donde hay que armar ahí eh, las palabras, es la, que, la frase. Es la que solo dos he podido armar y las otras dos no, no puedo. Ah, solo eso le falta. Sí, solo esa me falta y, y hay dos, dos que no las armo de una forma, las armo de otra y no, no logro, no, no logro uh -huh. armarlas. ¿Y usted no, no ha armado ni una de esas? No, ahí sí estoy mal, porque sí las he armado, pero ya las hice y las cuatro, ninguna me ha, me ha dado resultado. Ajá, así me pasó a mí, ayer pude armar dos yo, pero las otras uh -huh. dos no, no logro armarlas. ¿Ya solo eso me falta? Ah. Prácticamente ahí sí le quedó mal, no le puedo ayudar, lo siento. Okay. Ah, pues ahí vamos a ir bien. Uh -huh. Mañana voy a intentar ¿Cabal? a ver si las, logro armar las últimas dos. Provecho, Juan. Gracias. Gracias. Tal vez algún otro compañero, tal vez. Uh, sí, esté ahí vamos a ir preguntándole. A ver qué Ajá, pasa. correcto. Ahí uh -huh. voy a ver si le, le comparto ahí la toque que, que pude armar. Oye. Ah, bien. Para que Vaya. compare ahí. Va, pues. Excelente, gracias. Bien. Estamos. Ok. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hello, good evening, welcome. Nice to see that we are here. Just let me open my camera. Where is my camera? Um, let's see. Participants. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Let's see, welcome, nice to see you one more time. So we are in the middle of the week, right? But it's almost the end for us because tomorrow is the last day, right? For this class, for this week, I'm sorry. So, uh, let's see, we are 18, 17 participants right now. Falta gente aquí. 
Okay, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Saida Idalia, tell us uh, what is a today date? Hello, hello, Sarai Dalia, no se escucha. Yeah, uh, ¿me escucha ahora? Yeah, go ahead, tell us, uh, what is the today date? This day is July 5, 2023. 5? July 5, 2023. That will be 5th, okay? Remember... I... Mm -hmm. One more time, Sarai, please. Uh, this day is Wednesday, July, by 2023. There you go. Okay, so today is, uh, today is... Uh, Wednesday, right? My goodness. Wednesday, July the 5th, 2023 or 2023. Okay. So nice. Uh, Juan Antonio, tell us how you feel today. Hello. Well, today has been very busy. Uh, Mostly in the afternoon and evening, right? Uh, my wife um, and, I, and me went to a medical 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 appointment, but the doctor uh, had not arrived. So the, the doctor didn't arrive. Yeah. So we need a. Uh, back, back to uh, to the the clinical. You went back, uh huh. Yeah. So you need to you uh, have to go back one more time. Yes. Okay. And nice. Este, we went uh, to supermarket to shop and. Um, I uh, go to uh, my son's school for a day, my son and my daughter. And next, uh, go to the school. You know, they went to school and go back to the uh, clinical, the doctor. Okay, that, that's uh, really busy. That sounds really yeah. uh, a busy, busy day, but that's nice and appreciate that even though you have a difficulties and a busy day, so you are in yeah. the class, that's nice. Okay, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, let's Thank see, you. what about you, Lenny Hernandez? Tell us how you feel today. My day is... Busy, busy. Okay, you had a busy day. In, uh huh, Len. In the work every day. So you do, uh, you work every single day. So what do you do? Learning, what do you do? Learning. <laughs> what do you do? We are much. Hmm? Uh 
Uh -huh. Do we mention uh, that question yesterday or not? No mencionamos esa pregunta ya. Pues no recuerdo. Okay. So, but that is a simple question, right? Esa preguntita viene de allá del básico. So, what do you do? What do you do in your job? Uh -huh. Lenin, what do you do in your job? Lenin Hernandez. Sorry. No, no, no comprende no. la pregunta. No, teacher. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's see, what about you, Martin? Mar Martin, are you driving? Mm, no, I waiting with my Wi-Fi. I'm sorry? I waiting with my wife. You are waiting? I waiting with my wife. So where are you? I estoy esperando a mi esposa. Yeah, I understand. You are waiting for your wife. Waiting, so my question is... My where are you right now? Where are you? Uh, in front to Metro Centro Santa Ana. Oh, really? So you are from Santa Ana? Yes. Okay. It, it is raining over there? No. It's this not. moment is it's nice. Uh, uh, maybe uh, so more, more nice. Later, later. Okay. Later. Probably it will be raining later on. Okay. 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 Nice. Perfect. Uh, Martin, it's nice that even though you are waiting for your wife, so you are in the class, right? So uh, let's start. Let me let me pass the attendance and we are going to continue with the um with the um, a platform, right? So the, the, the manual, the book that we have. So the Hevera, ¿dónde está la lista? Goodness, no está la lista del attendance. Okay, just give me one moment. Um, um, creo que voy a aprovechar el espacio en lo que estoy cargando acá. Eh, estaban pidiendo el comprobante, ¿verdad? Es, bueno, ustedes tienen que saber cuál es el comprobante que, que le piden. Este... Eh, no sé si fue ayer el último día, dijeron, ¿verdad? El punto es que ese comprobante este, o inscripción, no sé qué es lo que les estaban pidiendo, es, tienen que mandarlo, ¿verdad? Si alguien no lo ha enviado o no sé si de este grupo había alguien que tenía un problema para enviarlo, espero que haya logrado comunicarse directamente con... ver la lista 89. Bien, so like always please uh, let me know if you are here. So today is Wednesday the 5th, right? So sí. Ada Verónica. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Alexandra Jamilet. Uh, good evening, I'm here. Nice. Let's see, Alexis Giovanni. Present. Okay, Alicia Perez. Alicia Perez, no. Eh, Ana Maricela. Maricela, no. La educación es importante, eh, pero... También Linda, lo es el resto de la ciudad. Y amo esta ciudad. Nice. Um, let's see. Y apagaron el micrófono. Eh, Deje ver. Byron Giovanni, por ahí me pareció verlo. Nice. Carlos Antonio. 
Present teacher. Nice. Cecilio Antonio. Present Miss. Nice. Jacqueline Vanexa. Present Miss. Present. Okay. <laughs> Nice, pan exam. Jennifer Arevalo. Por ahí la nice, nice. José Alejandro. Pues no viene ya. Eh, Juan Antonio. Ahí está. Thank you. Nice. Um, let's see. Catherine Andreina. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine Gisa. Present teacher. Nice. Um, Kevin Alexander. Present teacher. Nice, Kevin. Lenin Hernandez. Present teacher. Nice, Leticia Judith. Leticia, no. Eh, Luis Alfred. Luis Alfred. Present, nice. María Magdalena. Present teacher. María Magdalena, nice. Eh, Martín de Jesús. Present. Ok, Martín. Eh, Miguel Antonio. Present Miss Miguel Antonio. Present Miss. Who says present Miguel? Yes. Okay, let me see. Next. Okay, Miss. Nice, 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 nice. Um, sé qué hice aquí. Martín, Miguel, ya está su tenemos. Eh, Nelson, Eduardo. Nelson, Eduardo. No. Eh, Norma, Lisette. Norma, Lisette. No. En el chat. Eh, Ok, so ya voy a revisar el chat. Eh, Olivia Rachel. Present. Okay. Eh, Noé Ezequiel. No lo he mencionado. Eh, nice. Oscar Alexander, por ahí me pareció ver que estaba conectado. Present, Miss. Nice. Zaira Idalia. Present, Miss. Ok. Silvia Esther. Good evening, I'm here. Nice, miss. Okay, so we are going to um, validate the attendance uh, one more time at the end. Solo déjeme hacer algo aquí que puse esto en la columna que no era. Ahora sí. Ya decía yo que algo se miraba extraño y es que esta no es la columna de la tendencia. Eh, un segundo. So, do we have homework for today? Yes. Okay. So, what is the homework about? It's about the neighbors. Mm -hmm, I remember. So about neighbors, what? For example, the uh, each one need this uh, description uh, about the neighbors. In, no, okay. in your neighbors. Okay, so situations, complaints. Did you remember the word complaints? Okay, so uh, yesterday we were like discussing, right, about common and some complaints. 
that are like very common in the neighborhood or uh, with your neighbor, right? So in this case, uh, we already covered this part and um, we are um, like about to read, right? So the idea was that you have to write like a small paragraph about this situation that probably can be a problem, right? Can be a, an issue, okay? Issue means problem, right? Problema, issue, right? So problem, issue are like similar words, right? The same meaning. So, uh-huh situations that you have with your neighbors okay so let's see let's start with um catherine giselle so catherine giselle read the situation that you have in your neighborhood or a situation that you have with your neighbors and my neighbors and listening to look music Mm -hmm. Complaints and my neighbors is um, a tall green water and I dress and in now in como se dice canaleta. Canaleta, eh, no, it a quitter, eh, canaleta. Okay, good. So, uh -huh. Thanks. So, what is the problem with that cutter? What is exactly the problem? Uh-huh, Catherine, one more time. I understand the first one about music, but the second situation, repeat it one more time, please. Uh, and my neighbors, uh, my neighbors, uh, they, they are straight, uh, wiser, And it is whiter and straight in not in in whiter. Okay, so they don't put the trash. That's the idea. They don't put the trash like in the trash can or in the correct place. They threw away the garbage in the gutter, right? That's what you are trying to say. Yep, they tiran la basura and no en el basurero. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. So threw away. So threw tirar, right? They threw garbage in different places instead of they put the garbage inside of a trash can, right? Or threw garbage inside of a trash can. Yeah, that is kind of like a typical situation, right? And that is like part of culture. That's what people says, right? Um uh, I'm not 100% agree about that because that's not culture. Quienes dicen es que es la cultura de nosotros. No, esa no es cultura. Ese es un mal hábito, right? So that's a, like a negative behavior. It's not part of our culture. So what we have to do is do our part. So do our part. But if we continue like doing like, you know, the same behavior, so we will have the same results or even worse, right? Nice. Uh, let's see, Juan Antonio, tell us, what is the situation that you have? Yeah. Well, I think I have uh, good neighbors now. But in the past, for a while, the neighbor frequently complained that the, <coughs> sorry, Craft, crafty, crafty people got into their house and it was not possible to determine who and how it happened. Well, uh, we had a, a one boy, a 14 
years old neighbor who looked um, 18 years old and was king of Nauti, who we were doubtful. Well, one day he entered our house. My wife was sleeping in her position. She had worked at night in the hospital and she heard noises. She thought it was me and she found the, the boy. Yeah. And she called me and I told her to call the police. The police arrived, took data and waited for the boy's mother according to their recommendation. Well, okay. Uh huh. So that, that happened, I guess, that's not recently or it happens like a recent. Uh, no, almost uh, five years ago. Okay, I understand. Uh -huh. So nice. So that is a, like a difficult situation, right? So when we have, we are neighbors, right? In the past, yeah. it was really common to have gamsters, you know, the gamsters, right? So those yeah, you know. uh, people that is on jail right, right now, right? So gangsters were really common, right? So most of us were with gamsters members as a neighbors, right? Eran los vecinos, yeah. right? no, it's just different, mm -hmm. a little bit different, right? Yeah, different. Nice, let's see, Sylvia Esther, what about you? Tell us, read the situation. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, about my neighbor, uh, yesterday I, it was mentioned, uh, there is a cat called Marcelino, who always run through the ceiling and my dog gets very angry. And with a water dispenser, the cat leaves. Uh, but uh, this very solution is uh, we can only report it to management and they contact at the own, own, owners. Otherwise, they proceed to call bienestar animal. Okay, so, no so but, uh, but at the end, at the end, so the owners of the cats Under, appears. Yes. Okay, so they Under, appear and they oh. take the animal, right? Okay, yes. so that is a situation as well, but that is normally with dogs, right? They are Since, out of the house. They look like if they don't, they don't have an owner. They look like homeless. You know what is a homeless? Homeless. What is homeless? I don't remember. What is? Did you remember or do you know everybody right here? Homeless. What is the meaning of homeless? Persona sin hogar o alguien sin hogar. Okay. Homeless, uh. okay. Como nosotros decimos es vagabundo aún. So the dogs are homeless, right? There are many uh, places where we have homeless dogs. O sea, no son los perros de nadie y ahí andan callejero, le dice uno. Mm -hmm. Perro callejero, right? So that would be like a homeless, okay, dog or animal. That is a problem, right? That sometimes we have in or in the neighborhood because the dog is there, but it's not any owner, right? So no one is on charge of that animal, right? So but the problem is about the cat because um, the dog is mine. Mm, okay, so you have a dog and the, the situation was with a cat. I thought that the dog was the one with the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. So That's we have time just for one more. So let's see Ada Veronica. Okay, mm -hmm. in my case, case, I had all the problems. And uh, for example, noises, 
uh, animal problems, in clean, clean lines. Uh, also, I, my neighborhood, they have six baby. Every day, babies cry. Um, that's as molest. Okay. As. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it really, it really annoying, right? Molesta. It's really annoying. Okay. Yeah. Imagine six kids crying or doing a mess, and you are just listening everything, right? So that's not easy. Okay. That's Thank you, uh, Veronica. So we have Alexandra. You raise your hand. Go ahead. Okay. Um, my neighbors are very troublesome. They sniff out who comes in and out of my house. They also like to gossip about others. What we did in my house is to make taller walls so we can feel them. Okay, that's nice, Alexandra. That's a good solution, right? So, because that is really common, right, in the neighborhoods. But sometimes we have people that it's even asking, Miri quien era, right? So they are like that. So they want to know everything. Okay, and as Alejandra mentioned, it's just for gossiping, right? Gossiping. Había una serie que se llamaba Gossip Girls, right? Did you listen to that? Syrian, right? So that program, I don't know, it was a soap opera or whatever, but uh, uh -huh, gossip, right? So they are just talking and talking and, and, and living like that, right? So, well, anyway, right? So let me see right here. Let's continue with the uh, next exercise. Uh, the conversation, it's pretty safe. This conversation is between Nick and Pan. Let me make it a little bit bigger. So it says right here, uh, Ada, I don't know if you have a question. No, I participate. Okay, you want to participate. So let's see, I'm going to read first and then we are going to practice, okay? So how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's a downtown, so it's very convenient. It's very convenient. Uh, downtown, is there much noise? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Um, how many restaurants? Let's see how many restaurants are there near your place, a lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Uh, what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? Uh, no, it's pretty safe. Uh, hold on. That's my car alarm. I will call you back later. Okay. So did you get the idea of the conversation? Se entiende, right? Yeah, no? Yes. Okay. So the situation is that she has like, she has the feeling or the idea that she has a nice apartment that she is safe where she lives but there is no parking area so most of the people that lives in that apartment they park the cars outside on the street whatever right whoever you see the space okay so i guess it's the same situation in, in <laughs> yeah probably right it's your neighbor brenda okay because look on the picture says that uh, we can see that the cars are like at the street and suddenly she listened the alarm car of her car right so and it's her car so when she was like saying, oh, no, aquí no pasa nada, ya le están robando el carro, right? So, nice. 
Eh, let's see the next. El otro vamos a tener que hacer en grupo por el tiempo. So we are going to practice just one time. So, Ada, Veronica, B. Pan. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, let's see, uh, Cecilio Antonio, B. Nick. So, Cecilio Antonio, go ahead. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, in fact, there an excellent Korea place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crying? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back late. Okay, I called you back, okay? I called you back later, right? So, cuando ya le están preguntando que cómo es el lugar, right? Si es seguro, es, eh, si es seguro, right? So then suddenly the car alarm is like ringing. So they need to see what happened, right? What's going on with the car. Okay, so we are going to continue because of the time. So grammar focus quantifiers. Okay, quantifiers. Uh, how many and how much? Countables and uncountables. Esto ya lo vio, right? Objetos que cuento, objetos que no puedo contar. Normally the ones that we are not allowed or we are not able to count, that will be liquids, okay? Like grains, sand, rice, so that will be like kind of impossible, right, to count it. So they are like classifiers and uncountable nouns. So let's see, uh, let's read um, the count nouns um, question and the possible answers. Uh, Byron Giovanni, go ahead, read right here. Uh, all this part, please. Okay. Are there many restaurants? Yes, I, there are a lot. Yes, there are. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't no. none. Okay, no, there aren't any. And no, there are none. Okay, so all of these are options, right? That you can use to answer questions when the uh, now it's a uh, count, okay? Cuando usted puede contar, right? So let's see the other side, the not countables. Okay, not countables. Um, Jacqueline Vanessa, go ahead, please, with the reading. Okay, miss. Is there much criminal? Yes, there is a lot. Yes, there, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, no, there isn't any. Any. Mm -hmm. No, there is none. There is no. Okay, so not countables. El crime no se puede contar, verdad? So that would be an uncountable. So yes, there's a lot. Yes, there are a little. Now there isn't much. Now there isn't any. And now there isn't none. Okay, so how many restaurants are there? How much uh, crime is there? So remember how much and how many, okay? So how much will be for uncountables uh, nouns and how many will be for themes, subjects, whatever, but you can count. So let's do this exercise. Exercise eight, complete 
I'm sorry, uh, write answers to these questions about your neighbors, then practice with a partner. So esto lo va a contestar usted con, uh, en relación a su comunidad, right, con su vecino. Are there many apartments buildings? How much traffic is there? How many dance, how many dance clothes, clothes are there? Is there much noise? Um, are there many payphones? Is there much pollution? And how many swimming pools are there? Is there much parking? So what we are going to do, we are going to try to write the answers, right? About your neighbors, okay? Usted invente. Si no tiene ninguna situación de esta, eh, invente, ¿verdad? Invente que, que, que existe ahí el nombre de, de un, qué sé yo, una situación, un algo, right? So, uh, let me see right here. We are going to create the groups and you are going to answer the, the questions. Voy a hacer quizás los grupitos un poco más eh, pequeños para que puedan trabajar un poco mejor. A veces los hago grandes porque por tiempo, ¿verdad? Y, 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 y eh, es más rápido, pero entre más grande el número, más están dormidos algunos, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, por eso me gusta que sea menos personas para que puedan participar todos. So, I'm going to open four uh, groups, four teams, and the activity, ya se lo voy a mandar ahí al, al WhatsApp, usted va a responder eso y puede inventar si no hay una situación que le afecte, pero you can invent it, right? So, are we clear about the instruction? Está claro, ya voy a enviar acá al, al WhatsApp la, la captura por si no tienen el manual ahí a la mano. So, ¿dónde está el grupo? Este, ocho, nueve. So, questions, ¿está bien claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me open the rooms, right? So try to provide like full answers, completa la respuesta. Teacher, se me apagó la computadora. Me, ahorita me conecté al, al, al cel. Ok, ok.
Okay, so welcome back. I don't know if you finished. Creo que allí hubo un grupo que me metí rapidito. No, no había terminado, creo yo. No sé. Eh, muy poco tiempo. But anyway, right. So, ni modo, vamos a darle. Okay, so remember that we are sometimes inventing, right? So, si no es el caso, usted inventa, right? So, it says, um, write answers to these questions about your neighborhood, okay? So, number one, uh, let's see, number one, um, Maria Magdalena, read the question and the answers. Okay. The answer one, sorry. Okay, teacher, are there many apartment buildings? Yes, uh, they are uh, many apartment buildings. Okay, yes, there are. Okay, nice. Uh, the second one, let's see number two, Ana Maricela. Maricela. So, Alexandra Jamilet, go ahead with the num number two question and answer. Um, there you are. Uh, how much traffic is there? And my answer is um, there is usually a lot of traffic. Okay, there is a lot of traffic everywhere, every single day, at any single time. Okay, so here in El Salvador, we do have a lot of traffic. Okay, so nice. Silvia is there. Number three, question and answer. How many dance clubs are there? Uh, yes, there are 10 or oh, 11. Dance clubs in my okay. neighborhood. In your neighborhood. My goodness, solo de parranda pasa usted, se ve estar con tanto Betel. place to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> de pelada. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día. Brenda Claribel casi no le hemos preguntado. So go ahead, Brenda, number four. Number four, is there much nice? Mm, I think the uh, answer is yes, there are. Um, it's uncomfortable. Okay, is yes, is there a lot? Okay, yeah, is. Yes, there is a lot of noise. Oh, it's, it's okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see the next one, Luis Alfredo. Number five. Number five. Are there many fake phones? And no. Uh, in my city, no, there are none. It's all. Yeah, that's all so fashion. Only right? only okay, so the, 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 there are uh like pay there phones, are right telephone de moneda decía uno right so no there isn't okay if it's one other no, isn't any 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 uh pay phones um the next one that would be for Ada Veronica go ahead Number six. Which no sé qué es pollution. Mm, that's a nice question. So, do we know the meaning of pollution? Contamination. Contamination. Uh -huh. There. Contamination. Okay. Is there much pollution? Yes. There is uh, a lot pollution perfect yeah there is a lot a lot right a lot pollution yeah it's everywhere 
So, Cecilio Antonio, the next one, number seven. Is there much parking? Number seven. Uh, yes, there is much parking. Mm -hmm. So in your case, right? Uh, in your case where you live, so you do have many options to park. So let's see that the number seven is missing. Uh, um, okay. The seven, Eva. Yeah, go ahead. How many swimming poles are there? No, mm -hmm. they are not swimming poles. Okay, uh, let's see how many swimming pools are there. Okay, no, there aren't swimming pools. Okay, or not, there are not uh, swimming pools. Okay, so let's see, we are going to move on. Okay, so we continue right here with the neighbors and we have the rhythm. So probably we are not gonna uh, finish. So the name says they were in one neighborhood, imagine. <laughs> no. Okay, so as soon as we finish this, creo que solo nos viene quedando una sección. Oh no, tenemos todavía la nueve. What does she look like? And the last one is number 10. So, si sí, todavía falta. This one, the, the sales assessment, you, you did it all right. So let's see, the word it's one in one neighborhood, okay? Imagines, todo el mundo fuera su vecino. No estuviera aquí, right? So it says, scan the article, then check the countries that are not mentioned. So we have Brazil, China, India, Japan, uh, Pakistan, Romania and Thailand. So, ¿qué dijimos que era scan? ¿Alguien recuerda? Fotocopiar, escanear. Mm -hmm. But in the, this case, in this content. No ideas. Que leamos el artículo o algo así. Mm -hmm. So last, last uh, in previous classes, I mentioned, right, when it says a scan, it means like a take a look or really quick view, right? So el scan es como leer no, así en, entre líneas. Así creo que lo decimos en español. Leer entre líneas para obtener el, el significant, right? So the meaning. So let's see, number one. Ya todos les pregunté ya. Let's see, Miguel Antonio, are you there? Hello, Miguel. Miss. Okay, so go ahead with the reading, please. Number one. The city wall are crowded with India woman in the colorful tra tra traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cake, a new song from a Romanian, but is playing in the restaurant. Is it India, China, yes. Romania? Continue? Yeah, go ahead, continue. Okay, no. It's as Estonia at a new boarding in the Queen, New York, New York City. Abs Abstro, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Astoria was, was once, once a mostly great. The new boards, but the art is shame. Training first new residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, 
and all over the United States are moving in. Okay, so stop right there. So do we have the words right here? Repeat, please. Do we have any new word right here or something that you don't know the meaning? Uh, I don't know, miss. Okay, so we are going to stop because I have to pass the attendance and I need to uh, move on into the other group, but before to leave this one, so please confirm me si está Alicia Perez. Present teacher. Okay, miss. Eh, Ana Maricela Flores. Uh -huh. Ana Maricela Flores. No. Eh, José Alejandro ya no viene. Yes, Leticia is. Judith. Present, Miss. There is Leticia Judith. Sí. Present. She is okay. here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Nelson Eduardo. Okay, Nelson Eduardo. Um, Norma Lisette. Norma Lisette. No. Bien, just day to Norma, eh, Jose Alejandro, and Ana Maricela. So that, that will be the attendance, okay? So um, we are going to try to finish classes like 8.58, 8.59, aunque sea un minuto antes de las nueve, porque el otro grupo lo estoy empezando tarde. O sea, me voy de aquí de una al otro grupo, pero en lo que carga Zoom, Ahí se me atrasa el otro video como unos tres minutos. So we are going to stop for now and tomorrow we are going to continue with the same platform, the same exercise that we are doing today. Okay. So thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Thank you. bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, bye. See you too.